G'day reefers, I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Thanks for watching Gallery Aquatica TV. Today we're going to bring you something that a lot of you have been asking for. Today we're going to do some work on the SBS mothership. Check it out. As you can see, we really haven't done anything on the SPS mothership and I'm so sorry we've been so slow with this. We've really just been held up with other jobs and we always prioritise our clients' tanks over our own. But today, we're going to make some progress and the goal for today is to start the aquascape. So I'm going to jump in the tank, I'm going to show you what we've got and how we're going to do it and we're going to start the aquascape of the SPS mothership. The team and I had a great debate over what rock to use with this scape. This tank is going to be one of the biggest and best that we've ever done here in the propagation room and we want to make sure it looks really good. So we were thinking about using carob sea shapes or real reef rock, things that we would typically work with, but we looked around the propagation room and we have so much base rock that has come out of other tanks that we've shut down or uh, for whatever reason and we, we literally have got hundreds of kilos of base rock. So we decided that we're going to use base rock for this build. And it definitely is a way for us to cut costs. It will take a little while for the base rock to look natural. And I think what we'll end up doing is we'll make our scape, we'll then fill the tank, probably just with fresh water, um, just pump some water around and uh, let the, the dirt and stuff come off it. This, I, this uh, tank's still pretty dirty, so having the fresh water circulating will make it easier for us to clean before we hook it up into the system. So we're going to use base rock. Now, we actually have one large piece of base rock which has been put together as a uh, scape, and you might recognize this from the Pimp My Aqua Reef, one of the first builds we did for our YouTube channel. And this is it here, and this is going to allow us the perfect start of the scape that I want to do. My intention is to build a high scape that comes up probably two thirds the height of the tank. So we're talking something which is going to be about two and a half feet tall. And having this scape is going to make it easier to go up. But what we're going to do, and this is something I've never done before, we're going to use these Besser bricks. <laughs> these Besser bricks are perfect, I hope, they'll be perfect to prop up our scape whilst the epoxy is drying before we complete the scape and hopefully we'll be able to build up onto this and then down onto the other side because I want to make at least one or probably several large rainbows in this tank. So that's the plan. Uh, we've got our rock, our Besser bricks uh, and our epoxy in here. So it's just down to me to get into, into the aquascaping, start to knead the epoxy and put this massive jigsaw puzzle together. So as always, I'm using the Two Little Fishies Aquastick Epoxy and it's my favourite for its uh, set speed and it's just a really easy epoxy to use. I generally use about one and a half inches or so per go and I just break off that amount. I start out by kneading it and you're trying to get the inner core, which is a lighter grey, and the outer core, which is a darker grey, to all become one homogeneous colour. We're using the grey as opposed to the coralline red today because of the colour of the rock that we're using. If we were using the carob sea shapes or the real reef rock, I'd be using the, the red aquastic. But anyway, once I've kneaded it for a little bit, I roll into sausages and then balls. And I do that two or three times 
just to ensure that it is well and truly homogenous. Um, I like to ensure that the ends of the pieces I'm using are not broken and nice and smooth. Um, and I typically use short sausages like that and I knead them into position. I choose strategically, uh, strategic positions as to where to epoxy. I generally start out with the seams between rocks which are most important to ensure stability and then add more and more as I go so that the hold becomes stronger and stronger. And you'll notice I'm doing a little bit on this one and a little bit on this structure over here and I alternate so that the epoxy has a little bit of time to harden and just so that it's less likely that the epoxy uh, holds will break. But um, it's easier doing it in the dry like this uh, as opposed to underwater. Um, I find that you get a, a stronger hold and it's just easier to do. Um, although most of the time that we are epoxying, it is actually underwater. And the fact you can use it underwater is one of the best things about this product. So I'll keep doing this and I'll just slowly add the epoxy to it and we'll end up with what is going to bridge together as a beautiful rainbow. So I've just put on the last piece between these two structures to create the bridge and I'm very conscious of the fact that we have to pull these Besser bricks out and in hindsight uh, I think I probably would have been better if I had something that was collapsible, something that could just take a bit of height off uh, our structure here. But uh, I've done it this way now. So I guess what it really means is I just have to be extra sure that uh, our scape is going to be secure so that I can tug these bricks out in a way that's required to get them out. Uh, but only time will tell if I'm successful. So I'll just keep on putting the epoxy on for now. Probably the thing that I'm doing most different with this scape to other scapes is I'm using large bits of epoxy. With those uh, one and a half, two inch pieces that I break off with the two little fishies epoxy, normally that will then become two or three uh, pieces of epoxy, but I'm using the whole piece to create really strong holds. So I'm happy with our first rainbow so far, and I would almost call this its naked version because 
to this structure, I will be adding a number of shelves and ledges. And so we'll have pieces that will come out like so, and it'll give the whole piece a lot more uh, shape and be a bit more dynamic. Um, so that's what we'll do next time, but for, da for today, this is pretty much it. So let me jump out, uh, we'll move away some of this rock and we'll have a closer look at how our scape is coming along. So now that I'm out of the tank and I can look at it from afar, uh, I'm still very happy with how it's going, but I definitely see that this right hand side is looking a little bit too narrow. The Pimp My Aqua Reef side is looking excellent, lots of ledges and stuff, but um, I think I'll just have to reinforce this and put those shelves in before it looks really good. My intention will also be to have another rainbow which comes off this structure and goes pretty close to the other side of the, the tank. And we'll probably have a couple of smaller ones that also branch off this one. So they'll all be an interconnected um, laser of, of rainbows. But I've definitely got the height that I was looking for. So this is actually not far off the top of the viewing panel. So we'd have to be very careful about what type of acros we put up here and things that don't grow too, uh, too tall too quickly. So um, probably more tabular type aquapora up here. And we'll have our stags, our dallas, uh, our batavia yetis, things that grow tall starting from lower in the tank. And remember we're gonna have the Hydra 64s on this tank, so we're gonna have great penetration of lighting and um, we'll have the bulk of the lighting over the structure, so it should work really well. So my intention is to really sort of smash this, aqu this aquascape out in the next week or two, and hopefully we'll be able to bring you a three-part series with the scape. Uh, I definitely want to uh, do it on camera when we pull out these Besser bricks. I think that that's gonna be the greatest risk with this whole job. But um, for today, our first rainbow is finished and I'm happy with that. And um, the next rainbow will be very soon. And we'll make sure we bring you that, as well as other episodes of Gallery Aquatica TV. So, I'm Cam the Fish Guy, happy reefing. So that's our video for today. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe as well. We'll be putting out videos every week showing a, a new tank with new products. There's gonna be lots in all the videos. I'm Cam the Fish Guy and keep on reefing.